What is happening guys? Mike here, welcome back to the channel. Whiskey based pomade. We've seen it before, but have we seen it done like this? All right, once again, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. Today, we're taking a look at the Maverick. This is a brand that comes to us straight from the Philippines, which is something I think is pretty cool. I'm always interested in seeing what you guys in other parts of the world are doing with your products and how you're formulating them. And as I've already said, this is a particularly special brew because it is a whiskey-based pomade. Now, we have seen the whole beer-based pomade done before. And for some reason, I keep thinking to myself, we have seen the whiskey based pomade before but I just can't remember which brand it is it's just totally slipping my mind for some reason I think that's what happens when you've gone through as many brands as I have but right away I noticed that there was something different about this pomade and we're actually going to look at two of them today the focus is really going to be on the grander the whiskey based pomade but we are going to be taking a look at their petro free oil base as well I'm sure some of you guys are curious about the whiskey one though I know I definitely was and I recently got to chat with the brewer of this pomade and he did share with me a little bit about what brought him onto this particular path of using whiskey in his formulas. Again, like the rest of you, I was just wondering myself, why whiskey? Why go with this particular substance for the base instead of water or aloe or some of the other things that we've seen? And so I just asked the brewer about it and this is what he had to say. There wasn't any whiskey fragrance available here. And if there was any abroad, it would be too much of a hassle to get it. So I was just curious curious to try if it would work. I knew then that alcohol was not recommended to be used on scalp, but as any science person would know, alcohol evaporates fast, and with the proper formulation, there will be little to none left. After some R&D, I found out that whiskey can remove excess oil from the scalp without damaging it. So to answer some of your questions right away, it is designed to have the alcohol pretty much evaporated when it comes time for you to style, which means it evaporates in the brewing process. But really, how does this all work and how does that whiskey actually affect the product? We're gonna get a closer look right now. Here we go. Coming across my desk today is a new homebrewing outfit from the Philippines known as the Maverick. According to the brand, Grander is a whiskey-based pomade that features a stronghold with a low to medium shine. It was designed to be a premium product specifically for the Filipino market, and it features, yep, a smooth whiskey scent taken from the whiskey directly with no additional fragrance oils added. This one comes in a four ounce glass jar and sells for 750 in Philippine pesos, which according to my conversion calculator is about 1429 US. Looking inside the jar, we can get our first look at this smooth blend. It's got a very clean white appearance to it, and scooping it out of the jar, we can see it has a very clean and easy scoop out. Consistency-wise, it's thick but slick. It has a familiar thickness to it that really goes slick as soon as pressure is applied in the hand. As far as any tack or stickiness goes, there is a bit of that felt within the consistency, but it's not extremely present in the hand. And now for the demo. For this demo, I'm going to be using the product on towel dried hair. Personally, I thought it worked a little bit better on dry hair, but I am trying to diversify a little bit. And I saw a lot of you requesting more demos done on damp or towel dried hair, so here we are. Adding it in here is very easy. The moisture from the hair doesn't do anything at all to stop the product or make it grip up, causing tug or pulling. To me here, it kind of feels like a midway between oil base and unorthodox water base. It's got some characteristics of each here, but the shining feature really is how well it responds to the comb. It shapes and sculpts extremely well and puts up no fight at all bringing forth an awesome style. Now I know some of you were pretty concerned about the presence of the whiskey and possibly the alcohol causing you to wake up with hairs all over your pillow, but one thing I can tell you is I never felt anything different about this pomade when I was using it. If I didn't know it was whiskey based, I'd assumed it was a standard unorthodox water base. It feels very much the same. There was no burning or any type of sensation on my scalp and I did use this for several days, even sleeping with it in my hair so I could see if anything would happen that I could report. 
In the end, I guess you could say that I didn't find anything that could be considered to be whiskey business. Huh? It's a good one. That was... No? Of course, I did put this through an endurance test for you guys to see. For this one, the highest the temperature got was about 95 or 100 with humidity, but I still think we got some good results. At four hours, we can see that mostly everything is still looking awesome. We do have a bit of movement here on the side, but overall, it's really not too bad. At eight hours, we can see that that movement has come down a little bit further on the sides, but this gives us a really good chance to test the restyle, and I can tell you that it restyles extremely well. It totally resets without losing any of that hold. Now, we also have a second pomade here to take a look at from this brand. Let's start real quick by getting some quick specs on this one. This is the normal. Northerner. It's made as a petro-free oil-based pomade that was designed to beat the Filipino heat with its firm hold, medium shine, and mild cooling effect on the scalp. It also features an olive with mint scent and comes usually in a 3.5 ounce tin for 550 Filipino pesos, which is 1049 approximately in US dollars. Real quick too, let's take a look at a style done with the Northerner. I did this one too in damp hair and I can already see a lot of differences between this one and the whiskey based pomade we just looked at. It definitely has a small amount of tug, but boy does it style well. The hair just sticks together really well here and the pomade overall is pretty much everything that I look for in this type of product. And overall, I was really happy with the final style. Now, this pomade was designed to really resist the heat of the Philippines, so I knew it would have no issue dealing with the heat we had going on here. At four hours in, we can see that there has been no budge at all in the style. It still looks awesome. And the same goes for the style at eight hours in. I really don't think any piece of it has budged at all. There's really no need to restyle because really it hasn't moved. For me, the Northerner was a cool one to try out for sure, and it was a nice little glimpse into what else this brewer can produce. One thing I specifically really like about this one is the tingling cooling effect that I got on my scalp. It was a really nice touch. Definitely not something we see too often. The scent though was something that personally I just didn't really enjoy. I thought it was just a little bit too strong and really it just didn't sit well with me. Washing it out though overall wasn't too hard. It doesn't obviously rinse with water, but it does work really well with the conditioner method. So overall, it was pretty easy going as it came out of my hair. Now, shifting our focus back over to the Grander Whiskey Pomade, the scent here too is something that was kind of a negative for me. I'm not a big whiskey person. I don't drink any alcohol personally. And so the scent was just a bit much for me. I have no doubt that some of you will enjoy it though. I know there's some whiskey lovers out there and this pretty much smells like whiskey, just straight whiskey. And it's really not overall a bad scent. I just really thought it was a little bit overbearing and a little too strong. Performance wise though, I thought it did very well. It's a very slick product. It styles very nicely and the hold for the most part did very well in my hair. We did see some movement in the style, but after eight hours it could still be reset. So that's a strong plus there. Now I know some of you are already going crazy with the comparison questions. I got a ton of questions about how this might compare to the Malverde, the beer based pomade that we recently took a look at. To me, this really was just another example of comparisons making no sense. This one here doesn't quite have anything to do with the other, but that's pretty much usual when it comes to comparisons. Just because this one is whiskey based pomade and that one's beer based pomade doesn't mean they're comparable. And even though pretty much I am totally against comparisons, I do realize that this channel is for you, not me. So I did try to think of a few that I thought did remind me of this product. And to me, the consistency reminded me a bit of the O'Dowd's water base, specifically the summer heavy perhaps, or maybe the butter grease. That one did have a very similar consistency to this one. And it actually had very similar performance as well. The O'Dowd's though is just consistency wise. I don't think it performs like this one at all. I just think it scoops out and has a similar breakdown as this one here. Now, lastly, before I forget, the washout on the Grander was actually a lot easier than expected. A lot came out with just water. However, I did feel a bit residing in there after, but a light cleanser took care of that. So if you end up trying it out, any shampoo should work to get it out of your hair. Overall here, I have to say I was pretty impressed by these products. It's very cool to see something different like this whiskey based formula. It's also cool for me living in the US to see something come out of another country and to get a look at what kind of things they're making there. So with that, I do extend a big thank you to the Maverick for sending these out and a big shout out and hello to all you guys watching in the Philippines. My hat's definitely off to you guys for all the heat that you have to deal with. Now, as far as trying these out, the brand was hoping to have a
have a website and a shipping arrangement set up, but as we know, shipping between countries can get really complicated and it's not quite set up as of now. If you're in the Philippines though, you're in luck. You can get these pretty easily, but for the rest of the world, it's going to be a bit more expensive, obviously with that crazy high shipping. But what the brewer wanted me to pass along now is he is working on his site and everything will be up and running soon. But in the meantime, they are taking orders through their Facebook page. And if anyone wants to get together and do a group order to save on some shipping, he would also be offering a discount on each product for you guys that want to do that. I will have links, of course, in the description for anyone that's interested in checking these out. Now, I'm also interested in hearing what you guys think about these pomades. So do me a favor and hit that like button for me if you liked this video and drop me a comment down below with what you thought about these products. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, you definitely need to do that. Make sure you tap on one of those two buttons down there for you. And speaking of subscribers, today we are starting something very special. For those that didn't see the announcement, we are starting something new here on the channel called Subscriber Spotlight. It's just a chance for you subscribers to show your awesome styles and the products you use here on the channel. And I'm actually really excited to be starting this. And tonight we have our first submission. Today, the spotlight is on Danny T and his executive contour done up with the Iron Society original. Danny also happens to run a YouTube channel called Squinty's Grease Reviews if you want to check him out. Big thanks to Danny for the submission, and if you guys want to be featured in the next subscriber spotlight, info will be in the description on how you can do that. But that is it for today's episode. I want to thank so much for stopping by the channel today and checking out this video. I'll be back with you guys again very soon. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.